unfairly accused. Thousands of jobless Michigan residents were told they had committed unemployment fraud because of the state's flawed computer system. And for some, the accusations added insult to injury as they struggled to regain their financial footing. Now, Congressman Sander Levin calling on the state to review all fraud cases going back three years. Let's bring in Guy Gordon, who's with us now. And Guy, uh, you heard from people who say their lives have been completely turned upside down by this. Uh, Devin and Kimberly, anybody that's lost a job knows what these folks were going through. There's so much anxiety. What am I going to do for income? How am I going to feed my family? Now imagine that you're in those straits and then the unemployment insurance system that is supposed to support you in your time of need tells you you've been defrauding the state, starts garnishing your tax refunds, your wages, and basically making your life miserable. Carolyn Hayes was among the nearly 27,000 Michigan unemployed accused of fraud based on this automated system. It has put me through like just so much. Um, they've taken all of my income tax. I can't file for unemployment. When the computer system started, the number of fraud cases quintupled. The workers from the beginning told management that there were problems with the system. Carolyn won her two appeals. In fact, a state auditor general's report shows of those who did appeal their cases, nine out of ten won. That's right. Only 10% were found to be actually cheating the system. The state has the obligation to seize the initiative and contact every single person who was subject to a lawless, reckless, impersonal system. Minutes before the press conference, the state responded to Levin's letter stating that it had stopped using the automated system back last August. And quote, the agency has already initiated a review and is finalizing the details of it with the U.S. Department of Labor. Meantime, Carolyn is still waiting for the refund of the money the state took from her in penalties. Me and my daughter are living together. We're struggling. Um, because they're holding on to your money. Because they're holding on to my money. And there were a half dozen other people there just like Carolyn that have been through this. Now, Sander Levin says, yes, I'm gratified that the state is looking into this, but what took them so long? He's also skeptical that they've actually stopped using that automated system, and he says he's going to stay on it. And if all of these cases aren't reviewed, the 27,000 or so going back to 2013, he says he will ask his congressional colleagues to scale back on the federal funding that goes into the program. We're live from Cadillac Place. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Devin and Kimberly, back to you. Well, Guy, have they gotten to the bottom with what was so amiss with the computer program? You know, it's, it's hard to say, Devin, but what they believe, the 11 folks that have looked into this, is that if the employer files a report and the worker files a report in this unemployment compensation system and it comes back where there's a discrepancy, they always err on the side of the employer, charge mm. the other with fraud, and that's the problem, that when you get to court, the employer sometimes isn't very helpful, and if you try to call the UIC, it's hard to get anyone to answer. Yeah, what a mess. All right, guy.